So today we're replacing the E39 fuel filter. That looks like this. It's KL96. So this is where the fuel filter is. There's a couple of bolts securing it. What size is that? 10. 8. There's one here which seems to be an 11 mil. Originally it was a 10 but ours is dead. Plastic trim for these on the edge. So once you've got the four bolts out on the right hand side and then the four plastic clips out on the left, it should pull out. So we got to the fuel filter, we got the tray off, the actual clips are corroded, so we've soaked them in some PB blaster. However, looking at the date on this fuel filter, it says the 10th of December 02, so this is original to the car. So, it's 18 years since this fuel filter has been on the car. So I'm not quite sure on the service interval for what BMW recommend, but I guess it's probably sooner than 18 years. So what we're going to do is when we get these clips off that are rusted, we're going to replace them with some new fuel part clips, clamps. pipes unless you change them we're not they're looking okay condition and you need the clamp the original on the left obviously when it was fitted and the new one do is swap the clamps. So the size for this is thirteen to fifteen. I think it's fifteen mil part. Yeah, so all the fuel line parts are 13 to 15. Um, vacuum. There we are, job done, other than the cover. So before you put the cover back on, it's worth giving it a run, see if there's any leaks. You don't need a lift to do this. If anything, the lift makes it a bit more awkward, given you can't get the tray off as easy, at least on ours. But you could do this just on a normal jack, because it's only under the passenger side, or probably the driver's side if it was in the US.
obviously done some work on the car and this is Swarthega Heavy. We're going to do a test, apparently a little goes a long way. Don't look too bad. Now I need some more jelly. More jelly!